G'day everyone, welcome back to Clooney Garage. It's Peter Brock's birthday today, so in memory of the great man, we're going to look at the most iconic Holden V8 race cars of all time. Let's get there. Alright, before we get started in today's most iconic race cars, let's take a look at a clip that we designed for a previous video about Peter Brock and the great man honking up that mount panorama in the 89X Toronto. Check this out. As a young boy, I watched Brocky on TV, and I was simply in awe. He was fast, confident, with one hand on the steering wheel, sliding the car sideways on top of the mountain, all this time with a Vegemite sandwich in the passenger seat. It was an image that led me to build my very own Tirana as my first muscle car. And today we explore in many ways what made the A9X LX Tirana so special. It's a car that in many ways has cemented itself into the greatest motorsport folklore. It is the greatest home-built touring car ever made in Australia. Such an iconic car, the A9X Tirana, with the Marlboro livery, the Holden dealer team. A car that I sort of watched as a young kid, you know, grimy little, little mutt I was watching the TV, and I used to inspired us to sort of get all these banners and stuff in memory of the, the Marlboro HDT Commodores and Tiranas. We love them, just the look of them, the stance, the big flares and the spoilers. They're our number one most iconic uh, Holden V8. They're the car that really got us into um, liking Holdens and buying our first sort of LX SS hatchback, and um, they're pretty special. Whilst the Tiranas were a big thing in the late 70s, along come the 80s and Greed is Good and Tom Cruise on TV and all the rest of it, and then enter these amazing looking Commodores. So the one that I loved the most was the VK, the big banger as they called it. And again, still had the Marlboro HDT livery. They were pretty cool. I remember watching them and um, I remember going for a drive in a mate's dad's car. He had the square Speedo and the Taco, a pretty 80s. Uh, but they also then inspired a lot of the Brock Commodores. You know, you see the, the Group A and the Group 3 um, tribute cars. They're amazing. When it comes to the race cars, Ones that we really liked, not only the big bangers, but then when the Walkinshaw started coming out, the big Batwing and the Holden dealer team, you know, moved into sort of HRT, and then you started to see the line and the helmet on the side of the, the Commodores. One particularly that I like is, um, I think Wynn Percy used to race it, and you know, half the car is sort of black, and where the line and the helmet is, and then the front of it's white, and so, yeah, that looks pretty special. Pretty iconic. And of course, who can forget all the Mobile One HRT it's livery cars, you know, you've got people like Mark Scaife and then dear old Craig Lowndes and then Rocky come back in the fold as well. And you know, this, this sort of ongoing livery with the Holden helmet and the Lion, but, you know, they were really iconic cars in my mind and hence that's why we're going to do a livery on our VF and on our VP in recognition of the Mobile One HRT livery designs. Super iconic. And again, going up against the big factory-backed Holden team was dear old Larry Perkins. And you know, I still remember I had a big Castrol t-shirt with number 11 on it. And um, you can see the Perkin Engineering YouTube channel and the Motorsport Museum. We've got some footage that we're sharing with you at the moment. These were very iconic cars and very unique livery with the Castrol sort of stripes on the front bonnet and the quarter panels. Um, they looked really cool. And um, dear old Harry, you know, Larry, you really stuck it to them. You know, the, the young, you know, the smaller operator going up against the big manufacturers and um, he definitely punched above his weight. And uh, yeah, a lot of his parts were used in the other cars as well. So it's a testament to the, the engineering quality and um, the capability of the man. Apart from those big iconic brands you've seen with Castrol and Mobile One and those race cars, ones that really you know, caught our eye too, you know, in the mid 2000, you know, 2015s with the Triple Eight Red Bull cars. And we really love those, those looking cars. And obviously, um, yeah, a couple of questionable drivers in there, but that's okay. But you know, they were a very iconic car, and they won for a lot of, you know, a lot of races there and a lot of seasons. Triple Eight, an amazing, amazing race outfit, excellence to their technical craft, and um, yeah, obviously, you know, Jamie Winkup and Shane Van Gisbergen, and you know, pretty quality drivers there as well. And um, that design of the Red Bull livery, the sort of the VF shape. And you know, they put a lot of sponsorship into the cars as well, and uh, they are very iconic. And then enter David Reynolds in the Penrite Erebus a motorsports um, car and team. And that really, you know, that inspired us to put a lot of Penrite livery on our, you know, through the ambassador program on our VE Ute. And um, the car that really caught my attention in terms of being an iconic race car 
um, was the uh, liquid gold livery. And it was around that 2018, sort of 2019 period. Um, but the whole front of the car had this like reflective gold wrap on it and um, really made the, the Penrite livery stick out. And that was very iconic. And I don't think that particular model won Bathurst. It was a couple of models before that with the more traditional Penrite livery. But the gold, you know, livery stickers and the wrap on the black background, they looked a treat. All right, you can't have a list of all time and iconic race cars without a few notable mentions. And uh, old uh, Frankie sent me a telegram with some uh, notable mentions you want me to include. So they include the um, <laughs> the old Alan Grice Chickadee. He loves his Chickadee VK back in the day. And I remember that roaring down the mountain straight with um, the Chickadee livery on the side of it. God bless it. Um, Captain Chaos in the Coke Commodore. And um, I'm not a huge fan of that livery, but uh, it's one that strikes a chord in Frankie's heart. Um, he's always been a big fan of the uh, the Triple Eight Vodafone livery, uh, made famous by Craig Lowndes. That's not a bad looking car, if that's your thing. You know, the red and the silver, and obviously that also made its way that sort of look and livery into the um, into the F1 arena as well. Um, you know, I think Jensen Button made that famous, and he may have done a lap in Bathurst in that livery as well from memory, and that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there are some other ones here, and I don't think um, the old VIP Pet Foods. Uh, livery of when Shane Giz Gisberg was to start out. I don't think that um, probably was the best looking car, but you know, each to each to their own. And um, there's been a few others in there that I'll flash up and show you a look. But um, let us know in the comments what was your most iconic race car, Holden V8, of course, in this list. Let us know, and um, yeah, love to hear from you. Hope you enjoyed today's video. More videos like this coming up soon. And again, as I mentioned at the start of the video, it would have been Peter Brock's birthday today. So on that note, do it for Brocky. Catch you later.